What's the one thing that you sort of go to straight away for, I guess, relief or just to get your mind off everything? Um, I guess I used to be a big movie guy. I used to watch a lot of TV, love movies. I don't know. I feel like that's kind of, I've changed a lot through my 20s. I'm 28 now, so I'm, you know, almost out of them. You're old, bro. My interests have changed a lot. Sorry? You're old, bro. Yeah, thanks. Um, <laughs> we, yeah, lost, so, we lost your picture again, so you're just staring dead dead at us right now. Well, that's okay. That's right. We'll, we'll throw in a filler <laughs> picture. But um, yeah, so my interests have kind of shifted throughout my 20s. But um, I was never, you know, you know me, I've always hated sport. That is the one thing about me that has never changed and still hasn't changed. But um, I was always the chubby kid in school. So I was kind of on and off trying to go to the gym, trying to get fit. But when I finished school, I was probably at my heaviest. And I just got into running. I just ran and ran and I lost a lot of weight that way, but I never had any strength. And if you know my brothers, my brother Tim plays football and he's huge. Like he's very, very strong. Yeah. You come from probably the most sporty athletic family there is. Yeah. Which is the irony of me hating yeah. sport, which yeah. is not lost on anyone, especially me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I started kind of doing a bit of light training on my own a few years back, just trying to get a little bit fitter. And then it wasn't until I started work at this job I'm in now in the city a couple of years back, I started looking up boot camps in the city to do something different leading up summer, you know, is it summer shredding, summer board. Um, and then I thought, uh, I don't know if I want to go all the way to the city to train in the cold. Maybe I'll just look for a boot camp around my area. I started Googling boot camps and then this CrossFit gym came up. So I just put in my details and then I got a call like the next day to say, come and try it out. I came in for a trial session and then I was pretty much hooked on the spot. I went back a couple of mornings later and um, signed up. And then that's kind of been my fitness outlet since then. I'm not, not great at it, but I've been enjoying it. <laughs> okay. Uh, I beg to differ not being great at it. How, what hooked you? What was it? I can't even put my finger on it. It was a good community, good atmosphere. And it was something I hadn't done. Okay. It was training, but it was like, it was more fun. It wasn't just getting in there, doing a set doing a thing and walking out also i'm not i don't like talking to people at the gym i had never made spoken to anyone at the normal gym i used to go to it's coming in here being forced to talk to people i think i enjoyed that aspect of it yeah that's definitely one of my favorite parts of going to the gym is the uh, social side of it um probably doesn't sound great saying that on camera um but okay so you, get <laughs> you guys in, heard it <laughs> you get into it you start killing crossfit um is there a competitive side to you in doing it? I am low-key competitive. I don't talk about it because I hate that about myself. Uh -huh. But um, what I do like about me doing it is that I find I'm competing with myself most. I don't really pit myself against people much unless we're doing an actual competition. Yeah. But just regular training, I'm always trying to beat either a previous, you know, best I've done or just push as hard as I can to know that I gave it my all. Okay. But between so I kind of try to channel, channel it that way. But between us, you're competing with everyone else in the room, right? I'm not, I'm not admitting to that. Okay, I'm just maybe, saying... Maybe my brother Danny, but that's about it. <laughs> so how long have you been gone there, did you say? Two years now? Uh, it's two years next month, yeah. Which okay. I've lost half of it because of COVID, but I'm still training at home. Yeah. What is it about the CrossFit style of training that gets you? Because it's very, very different. I mean, if anyone trains, anyone goes to the gym, that you know the different types of training. And this is just another... I don't know. It's very complex. I like it's a, it's varied. So there's like, there's so many different things involved. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually love the gymnastics side of it and okay. me being a really big frame. It's not, you know, I couldn't really do gymnastics, but I'm getting, you know, I'm, I'm being able to do the things involved in CrossFit, but um, I actually drawn to the gymnastics side of it. And again, I love, I, I weight this thing is probably the least of my interest. I love cardio and I love gymnastics. Weightlifting, I just do it because my body's built for it. <laughs> yeah, I swear. You probably it feels like a bit of a waste. <laughs> Mate, you've got the most genetic body there is for that sort of stuff. Um, okay, but if you've got all this competitiveness about you and you finally found an outlet to release that competitiveness, how are you still not into sport? I guess it's a loaded question. Technically, CrossFit is a sport, so I guess yeah. I am now, but I still say I'm not because I still hate going to the footy. I don't enjoy I don't know, tennis, soccer, not, like it just doesn't, it's not fun for me. So that, that intrigues me like crazy because we'll sit down and watch a full-on documentary about the CrossFit games and follow all these competitors, but somehow you can't translate that to a normal team sport. 
yeah, I, I can't explain it to you. I guess at the end of the day, I am still a bit of a movie guy. I'd rather sit and watch a series or a movie than watch sport. No, fair enough. Hey, is what it is.